Good morning, internet world. Dave Boy, Black Diamond Mortgage. Maria Phelps, Danelle Connors in the back. <laughs> hey, we're doing our first live stream video on the internet about some internet topics for uh, mortgages and how to get them to close tough deals. And we've been closing tough deals all week, and so we are uh, needing a break. So we're gonna go get a coffee down at uh, one of the espresso stands. And, um, you know, it's funny, I was just thinking this morning as I was getting ready to put this thing together, and we have lots of clients. Oh! <laughs> down. This is our first time trying this. Maria just caught the phone. We didn't know how that was gonna work. But we have lots of clients that, um... Okay, Maria's gonna hold the phone. I need to get one of those, uh phone oh, things boy. but uh there we go they get to borrow hundreds of thousands of dollars and they only have a couple thousand dollars in their account which is crazy but anyway that's what we do uh all right so we are definitely talking about tough deals and we understand that there's a lot of emotions that can happen with tough deals uh, we often will get somebody coming into our company and they've already been to a lender before and um, they're frustrated. They don't know what to do. And so, you know, we get that. It's a very emotional thing when all of a sudden here you are at Black Diamond Mortgage and we say, hey, we can get you a deal. So um, it's exciting. It's, um, it's exciting to be able to be a part of something and we can help more people that way. So to close tough deals, you have to understand some principles of lending that apply to all mortgage loans because every mortgage loan is going to have to have these principles applied to them in order to ever happen and we call them the three C's and basically in mortgages you have to have a loan looked at on the credit of the borrower and on their cash flow and on the collateral and then, you know, collateral, that's kind of a big word, not everybody knows what it is, just basically the appraisal, what's the home worth, and the cash flow, another one, people don't use that word every day, their income. So these three pieces always get addressed in order to get a mortgage. And then there's a weapon in the industry, I like to call it Big G, but that's the government, <laughs> and sometimes they want to help people get homes that don't meet all these things. And so the government will step in and provide a cool way to make it happen. So today we're going to pick one of the big three. We're picking um, credit. And we've done some deals. We're going to talk about deals where out of the big three, there's some credit problems, but, but we're going to still try to get a loan for the person. Uh, what's really exciting is that, like Dave said, we've closed a lot of really tough deals recently. Um, we're closing deals with borrowers who have credit scores as low as 580. Whoa, 580? Um, 580. Oh my she gosh. Did it. And, or no credit score. They, they don't have any trade lines. They have no score, nothing reflecting. Um, when these deals close, it does take a lot of work from us. It takes work from the <laughs> But we can make that happen. We can make it happen right now. Um, they may not have to wait a year or two years to build that credit. That's good to know. Yeah. So today we're going to talk briefly about these tough deals and uh, how other lenders, many lenders won't do them if you're under 620, 640 credit score or even, like Danelle said, no credit score at all. And also, if there's derogatory information on credit reports, um, and not only the derogatories, uh, just rough credit and even housing history. So we're going to talk to you about the three big principles with that. Great, so I'm gonna hit the first one, but basically in addressing the three most important things for getting a loan, if your credit isn't awesome, you're gonna have to disclose everything. So one of the big mistakes is people are worried that they can't get the loan and, and they don't tell the lender everything because they're hoping that maybe the lender isn't going to notice. And um, that's not going to work in today's lending environment. So full disclosure is paramount because what we're going to do down at the mortgage office is we're going to figure out how to do the loan in spite of the fact that there's that one thing that you might not want us to know. And so um, 
you might have actually, or the borrower may have actually failed at the previous lender because they found out the surprise in the middle of their loan application and then you go to the next lender and they know the surprise and they're actually able to get the deal done. So the most important thing, well there's three big ones, but one of the big ones is make sure that everything you know about the last two years of your life that has to do with getting a loan, be it your income, your assets, your jobs, where you lived, whether you paid all your bills on time, um, get it all on the table. The, the, the broker is going to take care of fixing the problem for you. And regardless of what the rest of your credit looks like, you have to make sure that your housing history looks phenomenal. Um, and not even, phenomenal is kind of a loose term in a sense. We want to make sure you make your payments on time. And we're going to look at that. And also, if uh, you don't have a mortgage and you're renting, simple. We, we look back and we reach out to the landlord and we work with them on getting a verification of rent and uh, just work with them to provide the documentation that we need to show that you've made your payments on time. Now, I know Danelle's about to jump in and we're all serious, but uh, <laughs> hey, uh, we're getting our coffee right now and uh, we are live on Facebook, so I hope oh. you don't mind. No. This is our favorite <laughs> coffee stand. Oh. The owner even does business with us, so uh, there's our order. Okay. We're just going to keep rolling here, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. okay, so Dave talked about being up front, full disclosure. Maria's talked about make sure you're making those housing payments, whether it's a mortgage or a rental, on time. Um, the third thing is that we're going to need some kind of a good excuse. What happened that caused this, this chain reaction of events that maybe put you in your poor credit situation? Um, there's three things that we're going to look at that, that need to be addressed. Number one is we need to know that it was a temporary event, a, a one-time, temporary in nature. Um, it was absolutely beyond the borrower's control, whether it be a, a vehicle accident that you know you didn't plan for it. And then the third option is it needs to have been addressed and removed so that there is no likelihood of a reoccurrence of this event. Those are the three things that we're gonna look at to kind of justify that one major event that caused everything else. Good point, you gotta have a good excuse. Does anybody know of a good example of a good excuse? I was thinking of, we had the guy, uh, we've had some people that um, have made some mistakes in the past and they've had to explain themselves. Um, you know, maybe they went through a bankruptcy. Yeah. And um, one of the ones I was thinking of was, you know, they went through that and they had a medical issue and their income was down and all that and so by properly writing it it'll meet those three standards that Danelle just mentioned. Yeah we've seen a lot of the medical and um, issues with bankruptcy with those medical and just having a good explanation is key and uh, we, we can help you make that um, drop make it work and uh, fit what we need. So to get the big tough loans to close we got to isolate this whole thing now into one big problem and something like what we presented here and then figure out how we're going to solve the problem and then go for it. So um, either we're going to determine after getting all this information that now's the right time and we're going to make the deal happen or when we get all the information like you know it's just it's going to take a little bit more time but we'll know for sure. And we don't have to go through all the emotional drama of trying something that we can't do. We learn everything we're like we can fix that go for it fix it so either you get the loan now because of all the solutions we came up with in the roadmap or we're gonna tell you when you can do it in the future and actually I've talked to a lot of clients lately where they had no idea where to start and so just having a simple conversation with me and with somebody on our team was able to help them determine uh, yeah. that like they had an opportunity to get a mortgage and they had no idea that they could but just taking a few minutes of their time and getting us a little bit of documentation we were able to provide you know some some details on what their future could look like yeah, when you think you've got a borrower, a friend, a family member that's, oh, I won't be ready until next year or the year after, or I've got this and this to work on, have them come and talk to us now. Um, we can maybe help them now. Why wait if they don't have to? All right, and uh, next week we are going to talk about uh, another issue 
that um, is is uh, interesting to talk to talk about in the mortgage industry. Uh, we're going to talk about income and tough income. Uh, we're in Whitefish, Montana, right now, and we have a lot of people that you know work in the summer, take the winters off, or or vice versa. So a lot of seasonal employment. So we're going to talk about how we can still get you a loan with that seasonal and part-time employment and any other income challenges that uh, may occur. So tune in next week for another live on income. And thank you, Montana Espresso. We've got our espressos. We are ready to go. Oh, yeah. See you guys next week. Or And guys, everybody, like this video. Share it with yes. your friends and family. Anybody that you know. Everyone knows someone who thinks they can't get a mortgage. Share it with them. Share yeah. it. Give them our information. Give them this video so they can call us. This is going to be stored on our page. Yes. And let us know what you want to hear next time. And I see there's a few little messages going on and a few people liking. We will follow up with you. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Yes. You can message Dave on here. Message the Black Diamond Facebook page. And also check out our website at blackdiamondmortgage.com. And if you're local, you know that I was not driving in Whitefish operating a handheld device. It was me. I'm and when we dropped the phone earlier, we were doing it somewhere else. Have a great day.